It's the green Zerg. Down, nah, well, not even down, it's 1-1. One, one. It's tied up, ladies and gentlemen. It's a laser! All right. That was intense. <laughs> In the bottom right-hand corner of the map, we have our our pink Protoss player. Um, his name is Harstum, and he, he took last game in magnificent fashion. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like we have Nurcio in the chat. Welcome, man. And um, right now, oh, there we go. Production would be useful for some people, wouldn't it? Now, <laughs> uh, we have a gun hatch gas pool coming from laser, and Harstum actually, he he's looking pretty standard here. We don't see any proxies quite yet from him, but his probe is wandering around on the right side of the map. And a laser did take the natural, or sorry, he took the gold as his natural. There it is. As you had e previously mentioned, and yeah, it's gonna be a, a, a chance here. Once he has that gold established, he'll actually have enough minerals to either do a really powerful ling, ling attack, maybe even a ling drop, which I'm kind of thinking, or a queen drop. Uh, with with extra minerals comes a lot of uh, possibilities and options for our Zerg player. He can go for an early fourth. He can drone heavily. He can go for an early attack with mineral heavy units like queens or lings. Um, it's a nice way to start for both Zerg and Terran. Terran, of course, not in this matchup. But regardless, our Protoss player playing very similar to the last two games. Uh, this is about when he when he dropped his um, Twilight Council. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'd be interested to see if he goes the same route path, makes the Adepts, um, or goes hard with a different tech like Stargate. Yeah, something I do actually really like. Uh, is looking at that gold base. The cake is gold. It is shining cool. and shimmering, cool and That's it cheese. is looking That's good. Cheesecake. It's cheesecake. It's it's cheesecake. That's it's confirmed. And so confirmed. we do have an adept running around, or at least trying to shade around. Um, Stargate. Oh, oh, buddy, Stargate, looking good. I mean, looks like we might have some phoenixes. What are you thinking about that, Silver? Phoenix is an absolutely awesome unit. Um, very old school. Uh, lots of uses throughout time. Uh, one of my favorite is cleaning up overlords around the map. Just like, no, no, no. You can't kill this. You can't look at that. Um, but I think what's more likely to see is an oracle. Oh, but there's a phoenix. You're right. Oh, buddy. Uh, we do have pneumatized carapace and metabolic boost both finishing. So both overlord and sling speed is just now completed. Lings now have a bit more rain and uh, freedom to move around. Uh, actually, the Maybe. third is also down for a laser. Maybe not with a Phoenix, though, man. Actually, an absolutely awesome read for Harstum. I don't think he even saw anything. Maybe it's just based on the map alone, but these Phoenix are going to say no, no, no to any overlords that might want to get into their base as long as he keeps them active on the map. Yeah, these overlords trying to get out of dodge seeing those Phoenixes, and it doesn't look like... Or a laser won't be able to get the scouting info that he desperately wanted. One overlord actually going down... The Baneling Nest actually just finishing, started, and done. Um, so we're going to see a Baneling Bust of sorts coming from... Ooh. Maybe Dropper Overlords. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to say... I'm guessing Bane Rain, to be honest with you. This is... We Bane saw from, uh, this in, uh, in uh, Laser's... Uh, in his, uh, his VODs. I actually thought he'd go for Bane Rain in the VOD, and he a ended up dropping the Banes on the army, which I think is an awesome choice, but also awesome is to drop it on the mineral line. Absolutely explosive. Yeah, but unfortunately, right now these phoenixes are just cleaning. Up. I mean, they're cleaning everything up. Yeah, absolutely, and they're not wanting to give any sort of room for these overlords to run on forward. We do actually have one scouting ling coming on the bottom right side of the map, and Harstum just—he's really macroing up behind this pretty well. These phoenixes are going to try and get all the information. They're even looking at that gold. He is, I mean, a laser. He might not be in the greatest position going on here. I'm sure he's not super, Harsim's not super happy to see that he took the gold base as his natural. That's always like, oh man, he's got so many minerals. But it also tells him like, lings, lings, red warning, lings. Um, and it's interesting to see the plus one melee upgrade for our Zerg player, which means he's not preparing to go into Roch Rocha Hydra. Uh, or if he is, he's going to go into a really delayed upgrade considering that he's starting with heavy, heavy lings. Yeah, um, Phoenix is clearing up all the overlords forever. Actually, a laser is supply blocked. Actually, pretty heavily. He's eighty-one to uh, over seventy-four. 
which for anyone, you know, it's not necessarily good. Actually, just getting out of that supply block, but even for those few seconds, not looking too uh, spiffy, but Immortal's actually coming out. I don't... I mean, what do you think of this Immortal being produced? Uh, the Immortal is not going to be super useful against tons and tons of Lings, of course, but they are very good in this matchup. Always a nice unit to see uh, on, on the map. Here's the attack, though. Oh, man. Banelings and Zerglings running on four. Banelings hitting the wall and actually getting force fielded out, so they're going to have to find a new target with the Photon Overcharges on the third base. It's, I mean, Laser really has to try and get a really perfect engage here to... Well, okay, he doesn't... I don't think he really needs to get the perfect engage. I mean, with, especially with having the gold, silver. I mean, do you think he has just such a crazy advantage? He doesn't have a huge advantage. He's actually already kind of used his advantage. Uh, the goal is starting to dwindle away. He's got that fourth base up uh, at a decent time. Tons of lings on the map, creating pressure and trying to run in, picking off probes. Yeah. But yeah, the advantage is not all that great. After you use up the gold minerals, they, they're gone pretty quickly. Yeah, absolutely, and that's that's the big trade-off that you have with the gold, but Lings, moving on forward, going to try and get anything again, but not quite able to do any sort of damage, so now these Lings are going to have to drop off, but we do actually have a lot of Banelings forming on the very left side of the map. It looks like at least it's going to just try and attack on every single side of this uh, here base. Yeah, man, plus one uh, carapace, almost finished, at the same place as plus two melee. We have the infest infestation pit all done. Uh, the hive can be started at any time, but we do have zealot, char zealot charge speed. Here come the Lings and Banes. Oh, man, the Banelings just procking off on every single building that they can. Uh, they do have to start going for some of those upgrades, but they're just taking down these Immortals. The sentries are all down, the Immortals not looking in very good shape, but hey, they are exactly what they say they are. They're Immortals. Uh, Silver, I mean, that, that didn't get too much done. It looks like we're going to, or the laser's going to need to do a bit more. How much longer do you think that a laser can keep up this pressure? He and it's a, Regardless of how long he can keep it up, he needs to delay and delay and delay. The hive was just started. Lings and Banes not going to hold hold off an army forever. Yeah, it's something that we have uh, definitely seen a lot from a laser going, or just in the past and now. Uh, he definitely likes to play with these low-tech units going forward and uh, delaying into some really, really heavy stuff here. And actually, that's exactly what we're going to see uh, with the hive underway, almost finishing, which is definitely going to be pretty big uh, potential for ultra play here these lings <laughs> coming on the left side of the map gonna try and take out this robo facility but not quite able to get there more zealots getting warped in here just to defend and it looks like a laser he's not quite able to get the angle that he needs he's just kind of forcing harsom to do his stuff i mean silver as you mentioned like he does need to delay but do you think he'll be ready this has turned into a nasty situation for a laser. Ooh, the base is going, hitting all of the robo facilities, and this cannon about to go down. This fourth is, oh, sorry, third is uh, not looking in very good shape, but Harsom just out of position a little bit. And here's the Trapper Overlord coming out on the right side of the map. Now that Harstam has been distracted, but this Phoenix actually finding it in due time. The Drapper Overlord has to do all the perfect damage here, but he might not be able to get it done with this Phoenix in the air. Yeah, Banelings being dropped out, rolling down the hill, picked up by the Phoenix. Ooh, Banelings on the right side, not really able to get much down. Ooh, yeah, not. Eight workers killed. There it is. Words are finally working, and that is how we do it. But so far, we do actually have 23 workers killed in favor of a laser. That is actually pretty pretty tremendous, especially when you look at the worker count. Um, I mean, Hearthstone has 11 less workers here. A laser here just dumping gas into more banes, trying to delay while he gets his ultralisks out. He is totally committing to a Ling Bane ultra play. Uh, probably going to see some investors. Yeah, the, wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised the, to see a spire. The gold had just gotten sniped by a laser. He's now working on those rocks, not quite able to get those done. The main army for Harstum is, well, it, it pushed all those things out. So the overlords, wow, the ultralisk den cavern finished. 
chitinous plating underway. I mean, it looks like LA's are actually finally able to get all of his uh, really heavy tech units going. And Silver, I, we're I love the. Go ahead. I, I love the dodge here, um, using the ultras and lings. Phoenix not good at picking up either of those units. I mean, obviously unable to pick up the ultras. Not useful to pick up the lings. Yeah, these banelings actually getting some uh, in the middle of the map getting picked off, unfortunately for laser. But ooh, these are running straight into these archons and not able to get too much. They did get three probes though, uh, so looking pretty good. But Harstem looking to counterattack finally, and these ultras are just now popping out. The melee attack level, or yeah, plus three attack is just finishing, plus two attack as well and chitinous plating for these ultras, and so these banelings have to delay as much as they possibly can. Silver. Yeah, here comes the major, the major attack, though. Oh, man, lings flooding everything. Archons going down. Ultras are absolutely swarming all these archons and just pop, pop, pop. Everything's going down here. Ultras working their magic. Since the chitinous plating is done, these ultras are a little bit beefier, but these archons not quite able to stick up to these... Uh, Archons are doing so much damage, but the Ultras are doing even more. These Phoenixes actually have to start picking anything that they can up, but it doesn't look like Hearthstone's able to do anything great, but here's the GG. Oh man, that game, absolutely outstanding. I loved how Laser delayed and delayed and delayed, and right before he GG'd, I was just waiting for the moment to talk about the fact that the Protoss player cannot lose an army that way, especially an army so filled with gas-heavy units. Um, a laser just at the exact same time as Ultras popped out, three big upgrades all finished, and he was able to swarm over what was left of that army. The Phoenix, totally useless against uh, Lings and Ultras. Yeah, uh, we do have 2-1 uh, now, by the looks of it. 2-1, a laser, uh, obviously in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to go into our next map very shortly, but if you guys, again, if you want to support us, there are, there is a way that I'm pretty sure you can give us a free dollar, uh, and by free dollar I mean you give us a dollar, but it's not your dollar, it's someone else's dollar. Yeah, the how that works is Matrino is pretty much pledging the dollar for you by you entering the code. It just tells Matrino, hey, I, I want in on this, and so uh, this... Uh, Metrino will give the dollar instead of from your pocket, so that's always a good thing. So definitely head over to the Matrino page. That's going to be linked to you extremely shortly here in chat, and so you can just get get going with that. But don't forget, we also do have some SC2 replay stats keys to give away uh, later here in the cast. Actually, should, should be should coming be, up. I say pretty soon. We're almost halfway through. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be doing that in a bit, as well as, don't forget to check out Star Signs, you guys. Uh, they are really cool dudes, and it's just like a bracket prediction app.